Hi, my name is Jamie Upmore. Today I'm going to be treating my patient that has a venous stasis ulcer. The benefit of this treatment is going to be to increase blood circulation, and that's going to help facilitate the healing of the ulcer. Before treatment, though, I'm going to clear for contraindications and precautions, such as heart failure or a recent or acute DVT thrombophlebitis or pulmonary embolism, obstructed lymphatic or venous return, peripheral artery disease, skin infection, hypoproteinemia, or acute fracture or trauma. There's also some precautions that we want to look out for, such as impaired sensation and uncontrolled hypertension, cancer, stroke, or superficial peripheral nerve. Before we get started, I would hook her up to a blood pressure monitor so that I can monitor her blood pressure before, during, and after treatment. Also before, I'm going to check and make sure the ulcer is properly dressed. Um, so now we will get started. I'm going to apply the stocking net. Now apply the compression sleeve. I would also make sure that the patient is in a comfortable position, supine with the leg elevated on pillows. The parameters for this treatment are going to be 40 to 80 millimeters of mercury for pressure. I'm going to start at 60 and then we can adjust it as we go. Um, the inflation time is going to be 90 seconds and the deflation time is going to be 30 since it needs to be 3 to 1 ratio. The total treatment time is going to be 2 to 3 hours. Um, I would leave a call bell for her during that time if she needs anything, and we will get started. After two hours, I'll come back and turn the machine off. I would remove the compression sleeve. Assess their skin and um, also assess the patient, make sure she's doing okay. The outcome for this treatment is to facilitate healing of the ulcer a little bit quicker than it would had compression not be applied.